Hey everyone, so I want to do this podcast because, you know, I'm a little nervous. I mean, I really like this girl. I mean, she texts me every morning and every night. It's always consistent. I mean, this girl really likes me. We're talking all the time and we get along. I mean, she even said she was on Woo Plus and she's talked to guys before, but it never, the conversations never led anywhere or the guys would stop talking to her. And she's a beautiful girl. And we really hit it off. We were talking nonstop for like two days straight. And then she goes, hey, do you like sushi? And I go, yeah. It's like, is it all you can eat? I go, yeah, there's a place over here by my house. And she's like, all right. And uh, we got it set up. So we have a, you know, we have a date next weekend. So she said she'll let me know about the day and time. But she's out here like practically every weekend. Um so the only thing I'm nervous about is I'm not nervous about meeting her. I know how to date and I know how to treat people, you know, I know how to talk to people and stuff like that. It's just the thing that I worry about the most is because she's such a kind hearted, really good person. I I worry that, you know, because she even said she's dated guys before that her friends or whatever have set her up with. And she didn't like them because they were too aggressive or they weren't very kind or they weren't they weren't sensitive. And she wants a sensitive guy. So um I'm a pretty sensitive person. So I, I don't I think the first date will go well. There's no doubt in my mind. The only thing that I stress about is that there's no second date. You know, because I've, I went on that one date with that one girl and she didn't show up. The second date, she did show up, but then she ghosted me for a week. We scheduled again and then she bailed out again. And she was never consistent with texting. And she, you know, and she, you know, I said, were you ever going to contact me? And she goes, yeah. And then I called her, but she kept playing games and she has a lot of mental health issues. Then this beautiful goddess comes in to my life and, you know, she's like, hey, you should call me sometime. And I did. And she was a joy to talk to. So, you know, she's doing things that shows that she's very interested in me. I just worry that she'll lose interest. I just worry that she'll lose interest right when she meets me or... I'll try to go on a second date with her and there's no second date, but she seems like a really kind person. So, I mean, she works with special needs kids. She helps kids with like autism and Down syndrome and she's beautiful. She has an amazing smile. She's a super loving, really kind girl. So I I have a good feeling about her. I just, I don't know. I just, I'm nervous about how there won't be a second date and it just, you know, I've never gotten to that point. And I don't want her to think, oh, wow, this guy's a loser because he doesn't have his license. But I'm showing her that I did apply twice and I failed. And then I, you know, applied again for April. So um, I just, I've never been in love before. And that's why I stress out because, you know, I've been treated so poorly throughout my life with girls and it's like, you know, I don't want to give up. But then there's a part, a part of me where I'm like, well, what if girls just don't like me? And it's like, you know, I know I could be annoying and whatever else. So I just, I have a fear of dying alone. I mean, I'm 30 years old. I've never fallen in love before. I lost my virginity last year to sexual assault. And it's like, I don't want to go through all that again. So I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to walk around more. Um, I walk every day. I'm trying to lose weight. So, I mean, I'm trying to do things, but it's just, you know, she's a bigger girl too. So she shouldn't be that judgmental. Um, I did tell her I was 300 something. So she knows I'm overweight, but, um, anyway, um, yeah, wish me luck for next weekend. Um, she said later down the week, 
um, we'll think of other things to do. I was going to take her to the improv, but it's all booked up, so I can't take her. But uh, anyway, if there's a second date, I could take her there. Uh, so anyway, thanks for listening. I'm just worried that there won't be a second date.